EV Tecker 01. Unveiled to the public at the most recent Milan Motor Show, the EV Tecker 01 is one of the first battery-powered adventure scooters today. The model is based on a double-beam alloy tubular frame, rises 6.3 inches above the ground, and weighs 363 pounds. It sports a rugged look with angular body lines and ADV-style tires wrapped around the 15-inch front and 14-inch rear rims. The front suspension is represented by a 105.5mm fork, while a 70mm adjustable damper is in the rear. The powertrain offers three performance settings that can extract up to 14.4 kilowatts and 173 pound-feet of wheel torque to reach speeds up to 72 miles per hour. The list of standard equipment also includes a 72-volt, 80-amp-hour battery with up to 130 miles of range, four-piston brakes with dual-channel ABS, traction control, and a 7-inch instrument cluster. SMEV EM1 SMEV Moto is an uprising EV company from Indonesia that's developing an off-road moped similar in size and application to the Honda Trail Cub. Unlike Honda's lightweight dual-sport model, the EM1 is an all-electric and utilizes a 3-kilowatt electric motor with 25 pound-feet of torque and a 72-volt, 40-amp-hour battery. The manufacturer promises a 65-mile-per-hour top speed and 68 miles of riding autonomy. The battery needs to be up to three hours fully charged and is covered by a three-year manufacturer warranty. Despite being a new player in this field, we should praise SMEV Moto for offering a great range of customization options, namely six available color schemes, four suspension setups, including premium O-Leans options, three tire choices, a single or a quad headlamp design, and three cargo rack variations for your gear. Spark Cycle Works Javelin The Connecticut-based Spark Cycle Works needs no introduction in the e-bike community, as this small company managed to make one of the best e-mopeds on the American market. For the upcoming 2025 model year, they have announced a brand new model that's catered to the needs of lightweighted motorcycle riders. The new Spark Cycle Javelin is built with modularity in mind and offers various customization options. You can opt in for a pre-built model or apply for a full customization service and choose a color, headlight type, handlebars, shocks, foot pegs, and the material used for the side panels. Speaking of the technical parameters, the Javelin uses a 4 kilowatt rear hub motor that's limited to 2 horsepower and a speed of 30 miles per hour to comply with federal regulations as a motor-driven cycle. However, the Javelin also has an off-road mode that unlocks 55 mile per hour speeds. With an installed 72-volt, 40-amp-hour battery pack, the bike weighs 185 pounds and can do up to 100 miles in the restricted city mode and up to 40 miles in the off-road mode. Other standard components include an inverted suspension fork, integrated front and rear lights, a 3.5-inch color display, motorcycle-grade brakes, and 19-inch tires. UBCO 2x2 Special Edition Limited to just a thousand units, the two-wheeler features the unique green paintwork with orange color accents. Just like the standard UBCO 2x2, the SE features a front and rear cargo rack, but it also expands on the bike's utilitarian capabilities by adding such additional components. A waterproof carry case with an overall capacity of 30 liters, center carry-all compartment for additional storage, and two multi-purpose stretch straps for the front rack. The riding comfort and safety were also improved by a new streamlined seat, a magnetic phone mount, and a revised braking system that benefits from motorcycle-grade braking pads. In terms of performance, this 156-pound bike could let you travel for up to 75 miles at speeds reaching 28 miles per hour. Its 3.1 kilowatt hour battery could be extracted for ease of charging and would need from 4 to 6 hours to restore the complete charge.
The manufacturer calls their new creation a two-wheel SUV, probably hinting at its advanced mixed-terrain riding capabilities. To live up to such a name, the model received a completely redesigned all-terrain frame with an improved rigidity rating compared to previous generation Gogoro products. Besides the improved frame, the model brings a wide array of features and components that should let you confidently take the roads less traveled, namely a robust suspension with a telescopic fork in the front and a dual shock absorber in the rear that offers 5.6 inches of ground clearance, 12-inch high grip dual performance tires, hydraulic disc brakes, as well as the traction control system. Moreover, if you do decide to go on an overland adventure, the scooter has 18 liters of trunk space, 26 mounting points for your gear, and ultra-bright full-time LED headlights to let you properly see and be seen at all times. The scooter will be offered in two performance variations, Crossover and Crossover S. The Crossover will be utilizing a water-cooled PMSM motor with 7 kilowatts of peak output and 144.5 pound-feet of peak torque. The Crossover S variation gets a performance bump to 7.6 kilowatts and 151 pound-feet of torque. One battery charge would grant you up to 93 miles of range at speeds up to 45 miles per hour. Riahu Nuke Urban 6 the creator of this model is the Spanish company founded in 1934 that's known for manufacturing small displacement motorbikes. At the turn of the century, the brand focused on developing more sustainable vehicles, giving life to a series of all-electric scooters and a mini motorbike called the Urban 6. To comply with European EV legislation, this model is offered with two powertrains of different potentials. The base powertrain is called Urban 4.0, and it offers moped-like specifications, namely a 4-kilowatt mid-drive motor and a 2.4-kilowatt-hour battery. With this setup, the bike weighs 304 pounds and travels at speeds up to 28 miles per hour for distances up to 74 miles. The more potent Urban 8.5 powertrain raises the weight to 330 pounds while gaining an 8.5-kilowatt motor and a 4.8-kilowatt-hour pack. The resulting performance is as follows, a 68 mile per hour top speed and up to 60 miles of autonomy. Yologo YOLO 01 and YOLO 02 the new personal electric vehicle by the uprising Yologo company has a form factor best described as a middle ground between a scooter and a pit bike. This vehicle is offered in the city-oriented YOLO 01 and a delivery-oriented YOLO 02 trims. Both trims feature minimalist design approaches with a smooth body line and frame that can be painted in a gray-green color scheme or have a brushed aluminum look. The use of the aluminum frame helped to achieve the curb weight of 198 pounds and lets the 6 kilowatt rear hub motor propel you to speeds up to 50 miles per hour with ease. Although the manufacturer didn't announce detailed battery specifications, we do know that they will be equipped with LG cells and provide up to 60 miles of riding per battery. With two available battery slots, you can cover up to 120 miles with an average speed of 28 miles per hour. Livewire and Kimco Maxi Scooter Livewire is steadily increasing its representation in the modern e-bikes market. The company already has three motorcycles on offer and is planning to expand its offerings with the help of Kimco, a Taiwanese manufacturing giant. During the latest EICMA exhibition, the company has announced a joint partnership that will result in the development of a Livewire branded Maxi Scooter. Scheduled for mass production by 2026, this EV will be underpinned by the Livewire S2 modular platform. The full technical specifications are to be announced further down the road. However, the American and Taiwanese brands showcase two conceptual variations of the two-wheeler. The first one looks like a sleek maxi scooter for urban cruising, 
while the second one is going to compete in the adventure scooter segment, which is exceptionally hot nowadays. Lyric Cycles Graffiti and Graffiti X Besides awarding their e-bike with proper retro looks with a large rounded headlamp and a custom two-passenger scrambler seat, Lyric Cycles gave the Graffiti one of the most capable powertrains in this class. The powertrain comprises a powerful 2500-watt electric motor and a 52-volt 17.5 amp-hour battery pack. This model can be ordered with a dual battery setup so you can travel at speeds up to 38 miles per hour and cover distances up to 80 miles. Please note that Graffiti is sold as a Class 2 electric bike in the USA, so when ridden in the cities, you'd be restricted to the maximum output of 1000 watts and the 20 mile per hour top speed. However, in the unlimited mode, you'd be able to unleash the peak output of 4700 watts. The powertrain can be activated by means of a thumb throttle or a 9-level pedal assist system with a sealed 12-magnet cadence sensor. If you're craving more power, then you'll be thrilled to find out about the update coming to the Graffiti bike for the upcoming model year. The Graffiti X, which is currently available for pre-order, is getting more power, range, and a host of other important updates. Of course, the power boost couldn't have been possible without a motor and battery upgrade. Now, you're getting access to a 3,000-watt motor and a 60-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack. With such powertrain components, you can put to use 7200 watts of peak output and ride at speeds reaching 45 mph in the off-road mode. Moreover, the upcoming bike will also feature a robust front and rear suspension setup, four-piston Magora hydraulic brakes, dual sport tires, ultra-bright lights, and turn signals so you're visible on the road at all times. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.